Hey guys, well today is vlog number 24 uh, out of 30. Now, I was gonna just do 30 days, but I'm really into a flow. I'm really enjoying doing these, uh, and hopefully you're liking them as well. Um, and if you are, and the flow continues, um, I'm gonna try to keep going. Now, I'm gonna give myself more leeway though, going forward, so that if there's a day, cause I am gonna be traveling here in a little bit, going back to Washington State, and I don't know if I'm gonna even have the ability to upload uh, in hotels and stuff. So I might, um, you know, take a break here and there, but I'm gonna try to get out a video a day uh, and just keep on going. And, and if you're enjoying these, please let me know in the comments, I would appreciate it. But 24 days in a row, and one video was removed by YouTube, uh, for something that I said, uh, but I, I know that I can talk in code, so that's what I'm gonna do from now on so that it doesn't happen again. Uh, and I apologize, it is very, very windy out here. I do have a little, they're called dead cats, is what the top of these, the little fuzzy things on the top of microphones. I call these dead kittens because they're smaller, but that's pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty uh, uh, gross term, dead cat, dead kitten, but that's what they're called and it kind of rejects the wind, so you shouldn't hear the wind too much but the camera is shaking a little bit because it is pretty damn windy. And it is a little chilly, it's uh, 71 degrees. I'm not in the sun anymore, so we're gonna try to do this. But today, I wanna talk about conspiracy theories. Now, uh, I'm gonna go through 50 of the most popular conspiracy theories. Uh, and these are conspiracy theories where people were shamed marginalized, called conspiracy. I mean, I, I don't think the, the word conspiracy theorist should even exist anymore. Like that was a term that the CIA coined to discredit people who questioned the, the JFK assassination uh, narrative. So if you questioned that back then, the CIA is like, hey, we should call them conspiracy, conspiracy theorists and then that way we can, you know, put that out uh, into the ether as propaganda and discredit those people. And that's exactly what they did. And now they've been doing it ever since. And that's why your friends, your family, and people that think you're a nut job uh, will use that term and say that you are a conspiracy theorist. And it's basically just a blow off statement to discredit you when you're the one that's actually doing research. You're the one that's actually going down the rabbit hole and they aren't, they're watching the mainstream media, but you're the conspiracy theorist. Go figure. It's kind of funny how that's the side, you know, the mainstream media side is the, you know, the theorists, the, the, the people that, that are not uh, educated and are, are being programmed, as we know. So I want to cover the top 50. Now, I know that there's more, and I know what you guys are going to do. You're going to post in the comments other ones that aren't on this list. I just made a, a, a list of 50, but there were like 100 that I could have done. Maybe we'll do another 50 later if you guys enjoy this video. But I'm just going to talk about what they were, um, the 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 uh, objective, the details, and then the outcome. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on, on a lot of them, but I'll, I'll stop after each one and kind of give my, my feedback. But again, people's lives were ruined for pointing these things out when they were going on. They were told they were crazy. They were told that's not happening. They were told that's just not true. Um, some people probably, you know, even lost family members, lost friends, lost, lost, a lot of things because they were so sure that this is what was going on and the government's lying to you and gaslighting you and the media's gaslighting you and everybody's gaslighting you telling you you're an idiot you're a conspiracy theory these things did not happen but these are the ones that were that were that happened that were proven true so these are all verified conspiracy like conspiracy theories that were actual conspiracies all right let's go operation paperclip Initiated in 1945, this secret program brought over 1,600 German scientists, engineers, and technicians to America post-World War II. Now, you always hear a lot of people saying, yo, after World War II, they brought a bunch of, bunch of Nazis to the United States uh, and, and worked with them. This is proof right here. Like, like I understand that you know, not everybody bought into uh, the, the Nazi agenda in, in World War II, but 1,600 German scientists, I guarantee you most of the scientists, uh, engineers, and technicians were working for Hitler uh, because they were designing military equipment, the, the Volkswagen, the, you know, all of the stuff that they, they designed over there during the war. So these were most likely Nazis that came here uh, in order to um, work here. And their objective was to leverage German expertise for U.S. military and aerospace advancements. So 
you know, because we know German engineering is amazing. I mean, you don't have to look beyond like the, the BMW and, and cars like that to know that they're just engineered very well. They are, they are very meticulous in their engineering. Um, so I can kind of understand that. Now the details involved expunging records of scientists, Nazi affiliations, notable scientists included uh, Werner von Braun. So they brought them over and expunged their records. So that just verifies they were Nazis, um, but they made them, they said they weren't Nazis. And so probably anybody at that time that was like, those are Nazis, you're bringing Nazis into this country to put them to work. And they're like, no, we're not. They're not Nazis. We expunged their record. And the outcome contributed significantly to U.S. rocket technology and the space race, culminating into the Apollo moon missions. I do want to do a moon mission video and talk about that because, um, you know, I have some ideas. I, I'm still on the fence about some things, uh, but it's a rabbit hole that I want to go deeper down before I do the video because I want to get as much information as I can and see where I actually uh, sit on that. At this current time, I don't think we landed on the moon, but I just want to go down that rabbit hole deeper so that before I come out and, and say that, I want to just do some more research. Operation Mockingbird, which I just did a video on the other day uh, about how they, they co-opted the media. Um, it's a covert CIA campaign to influence media organizations. The objective was to promote pro-American propaganda and counter Soviet messages during the Cold War. You know, it's like, it's so funny because so many of these as we'll see, and so many things that the United States government does, like adding in God we trust to our currency uh, and all that was to, to um, circumvent Soviet propaganda or Soviet uh, uh, atheistic beliefs. So we wanted the, the United States to look more, I don't know, pure than the Soviet Union or something. I don't know, but we've just, we've always been in fear of the Soviet Union. It's crazy. It's like we've been programmed from, from birth to just hate the Soviet Union, AKA now Russia. And it's just, it's crazy to me. It's crazy that this narrative continues to live on when there's no reason for it. We should be allies with Russia at this point. They should be an ally, not an enemy. They're not my enemy. Um, and the objective was to promote a pro-American propaganda. Oh, I already said that. And details involved recruiting journalists and funding news outlets. So they completely funded news outlets. And we know this still goes on today. That is still going on today. You don't get an ounce of truth on mainstream media. Now, what they'll do, though, is they'll hide that one objective show at 3 a.m. That's like, you know, like Judge Napolitano. They had him on, I believe it was on Fox News, but they had him at the, this weird hour. And even though his show became probably one of the most popular shows, they took him off because he, because he got too popular and he wasn't pushing the right narrative which really sucks because Judge Napolitano is, is awesome. Um, and if you haven't checked him out, check him out. But, you know, they say that they got that, that one show so that they can say, no, we report, we report the news. We have this, uh, you know, we, we do fact-based news just because they have that one show. Um, and the outcome was they successfully planted stories and shaped U.S. public opinion during the Cold War, but also led to ethical concerns about media independence. MK Ultra began in the early 1950s as CIA's top secret project for researching mind control and chemical interrogation. Objective was to develop mind control techniques and investigate the potential of drugs for brainwashing. Now, there are several different incidences, and you know what I'm talking about, where the FBI was involved in talking to people before they did an incident, and I am not convinced that this isn't part of what that the results of, of what happened with this. And, and, and I'm not gonna say it because I'm on YouTube, but I think if you read between the lines, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you know, I'll say one area, Aurora, okay? I'll just point that one, one thing out. Um, the details, subjects often unwittingly drugged with substances like LSD, so they didn't even know it was coming. They just did it. Outcome publicly exposed in the 1970s, leading to major scandals and changes in CIA procedures. So because of conspiracy theorists, okay, I'm going to say that, but, and it's a derogatory term, but I don't mean it to any of us. I'm just saying that's what they called us then, or people that, that question this, but there was so much, um, backlash from it that people had to listen. They, they couldn't ignore it. And so they, they made some changes in CIA procedures, but what did they really change? You know what I mean? Like what really changed? Honestly, Next, we have Operation Northwoods. Overview, proposed in 1962, it's encompassed false flag operation to support military intervention in Cuba. Uh, we remember this during JFK's uh, presidency. 
The general public support for a war against Cuba was the, the uh, objective. So they wanted to propagandize you and make you think like they were going to actually have an attack uh, come from look, like looking like it came from Cuba, but the United States was going to attack its own military and kill its own military members in order to make you think that it was Cuba so that we go into war with, uh, with uh, Cuba. Now let's see, when else did that happen in history? Uh, nine, there was a month and some buildings, yeah, that pushed us into a, a, a war with a country that wasn't even responsible, even though we know who actually was responsible. So neither country was responsible, yet we went into both of them. Uh, you, know, you know where I'm going with that. Uh, the details suggested fabricating acts of terrorism and sabotage against Americans. The outcome rejected by President Kennedy became symbolic of military overreach. Now, we can all think, Kennedy, that that didn't happen. But now we know we we understand uh, that if you go against the military industrial complex, look what happens to you. You end up um, 86th, if you will. Operation Chaos, a covert CIA program target. There might be somebody here. Oh, people selling bug services. I mean, it never ends. Anyway, I'm going to start that one over. Hey, pizza. Operation Chaos, a covert CIA program targeting anti-war and civil rights activists. So anybody who was anti-war or civil rights, like, like many of us on this, this channel and redacted, by the way, um, the objective was to gather information on potential foreign influence over domestic dissent. So they're, they're making it sound like if you happen to be anti-war, it had to be coming from another country. It had to be coming from somewhere else. Probably Russia is what they're thinking. So if you were anti-war against any conflict that the United States was involved in, which probably, I don't know what year this was, potentially during the Vietnam War, I don't know. But anyway, if you were on the against war, you were probably influenced by Russia. Details, an extensive use of infiltration, surveillance, and dossier co comp uh, compilation on thousands of American activists. Outcome led to significant public outcry once exposed and greater oversight of CIA operations. That's two that says that they changed uh, the CIA procedures and, and um, oversight on CIA operations. Come on, seriously? Like nobody controls the CIA. They do whatever the hell they want. So that's a bunch of BS. Operation Mongoose, aimed at undermining Fidel Castro's government post Bay of Pigs invasion. Objective, to destabilize and overthrow Castro's regime through sabotage and propaganda. Uh, details involved in assassination attempts, economic disruption, and psychological operations. Outcome, failed to achieve its objectives, illustrating limits to covert action and toppling regimes. Now, here's the thing. We are one of the only countries that I know of. Like the, the, the United States tells us our elections are secure. They're the most secure, but yet Russia was able to uh, get Trump elected in 2016 is what they'll tell you. That, that Russia meddled in that election and Russia managed to change the outcome of that election because Putin wanted uh, uh, Trump in office, where actually Putin said he would have preferred Biden in office, but I digress. But that just shows you, like, the United States is one that if we don't like your government, we will try to overthrow you. And they're talking that it involved assassination attempts of Fidel Castro. So if we don't like the person that you install in your country, and we feel like you're going to go against our interests because we want people that are going to kowtow to us, like, if we want anything from your country, you better give it to us. Because if you don't, we're going to take out your government and we're going to place in our own stooge uh, and get what we want anyway. That is the bully that we are around the world and it's disgusting. Operation Gladio. Overview, NATO's covert operation established stay behind armies in Western Europe during the Cold War. Objective, prepare for a potential Soviet invasion. A Soviet invasion that there was no inkling that that was even gonna happen because this is right after, so it's saying during the Cold War, um, like there, there, there was no reason for them in, to invade other than the, the fact that we started NATO uh, against them to, to, to keep them in control when we didn't need to. We had just finished fighting with Russians in Germany to defeat the Nazis. And actually, 
Russia defeated the Nazis. We just came in and did a little bit at the end and, and took all the credit. So in the history books over here, the United States went over and liberated the Jews. However, the Russians did it. Um, details, armed and trained clandestine networks to conduct resistance and guerrilla warfare. Outcome, publicly revealed in the 1990s, causing political scandal and controversy over domestic terrorism connections. So, I mean, it's, it's just, it just gets me how these, these three-letter agencies are able to just run amok around the world and put us in so much danger because each action that they take like this that gets that these other countries understand what's going on, they, they have every right to retaliate against us. Thank goodness that Putin and, and some of these other world leaders are more level-headed and understand that it's a bad idea to bomb places. So they don't do it like we do. We're the, we are the ones out there bombing the entire world uh, trying to get rid of all the brown people because that's what we do. You know, if you've got natural resources that we want, which we now know that in Ukraine there's trillions of dollars worth of resources in the ground, that's what we want. We want those resources. You got oil, we want your oil. You got this, we want it. You got quinoa, we want it. You got pineapple, we want it. Whatever you got that we need, we're coming for it and we're gonna bring our military to get it. Operation Phoenix program. A CIA-led initiative during the Vietnam War aimed at neutralizing Viet Cong infrastructure. Objective to dismantle the Viet Cong's pre uh, political and support base. Details. Use controversial tactics including targeted killings, kidnappings, and torture. Now, we... It's so crazy how we are like, this, this leader tortures civilians or tortured people or did this. And it's like, we do that all the time. We got busted torturing people in, in Iraq, like outright torturing people, you know, and, and people are like waterboarding is not torture. I got waterboarded once to see, and oh my gosh, yes, I, it, it, you, you, if you have not ever, like if you're one of those people that thinks waterboarding is not torture, have it done to you. Have it done to you and then come back and tell me it's not torture. It is one of the scariest, like, yeah, it's, it, no, do it and then come back here. And if you haven't done it, shut up. Um, the details use controversial tactics. Okay, uh, outcome criticized for se uh, severe human rights abuses, thousands of deaths, but questionable long-term effectiveness. So there were lots of deaths, but it's a questionable how effective it was. We we don't know. We don't really know how effective it was. But uh, um, severe human rights abuses, thousands of deaths, thousands of deaths, but we don't know how effective it was. And quite frankly, we don't really care. Uh, Iran-Contra affair. Overview. 1980s political scandal involving secret arms sales to Iran and illegal funding of Nicaraguan Contras. The objective was to secure release of hostages and fund anti-communist fighters. We're funding anti-communist fighters, okay? I mean, that's... Uh, the details. Profits from arms sales were channeled to Contra rebels bypassing congressional restrictions. The outcome, public outrage and numerous investigations. Uh, several Reagan administration officials were convicted... They were convicted. Did they serve time? I'd have to go look into that. Does anybody know? If you know if they, any of them served time or any of them went to jail for this, let me know in the comments because I highly doubt it. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Operation Snow White. <clears throat> Only 40 to go. A Church of Scientology covert operation in the 1970s to infiltrate government agencies to expunge unfavorable records about the church. Details. Infiltrated agencies like the IRS stealing or destroying documents. The outcome, largest known infiltration of the U.S. government led to multiple convictions of Scientologists. So, Scientologists ransacked our government. <laughs> oh, man. Cointel, Cointel Pro. I don't, I think that's right. An FBI's program targeting domestic political organizations from 1956 to 1971. Uh, the objective was to surveil, infiltrate, discredit, and disrupt dissident organizations. They focused on groups like the Black Panthers, civil rights organizations, and anti-Vietnam War activists. Anti-Vietnam War activists. The people that didn't want war. <laughs> civil rights? Like, like the, the, the Democratic Party is all like, we are all for civil rights, people fought for civil rights, blah, blah, blah. But here the, the um, <clears throat> FBI is there to surveil, infiltrate, discredit, and disrupt dissident organiza organizations because they don't like that. They want to tell you they support civil rights, but if you're somebody who's fighting for civil rights, they don't like that either. 
So, like, what, what's the rub? Like, that makes no sense. The outcome exposed in the 1970s leading to widespread condemnation and reforms to prevent future abuses. Reforms to prevent future abuses. Do you think the FBI is still being abused? Um, let's see, Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, the FBI is still being abused. I will say this to him blue in the face, I don't like Trump, but that was a racket. What they did at Mar-a-Lago was a joke. And the fact that Biden did the exact same thing and nothing because he's too feeble and too old to face charges and go to court. Oh my gosh. And he didn't have the right to have them. Trump did. <clears throat> Operation Midnight Climax, a subproject of MK Ultra involving the covert administration of LSD to unwitting individuals. The objective was to study the effects of mind altering substances. Okay, this is, sounds like another um, uh, drug one, but let me turn my notifications off. Um, Details used safe houses in San Francisco and New York outfitted with one-way mirrors to observe reactions. Outcome publicly exposed contribution to the MK Ultra scandal and prompted stricter research ethics. It's like they're, they're saying that like the, it led to stricter things. No, it doesn't. They said that to, eat, to, to appease the public. Like, oh yeah, we're, we're reformed. We fixed it. It's not going to be like that anymore. We promise we're going to do stricter research ethics and stuff. We, we just won't do that. BS. You're still doing it. The CIA and crack cocaine. Allegations in the 1990s popularized by Gary Webb that the CIA facilitated drug trafficking to fund Contra rebels in Nicaragua. The objective was to generate untraceable cash for covert operations. Details. Suggested tactic approval of drug dealers supplying crack cocaine to U.S. cities. So basically the CIA went in and was selling crack to probably poor people uh, in areas that, where drugs were heavy, made money, and then sent the, the money to Contra rebels in Nicaragua. So our government were dealing drugs, probably killing some Americans, getting them addicted to drugs because crack is highly addictive, and sending the money to Nicaragua. <laughs> God, you can't make this stuff up. The outcome investigations confirm connections but lack substantial evidence of direct CIA involvement leading to calls for greater transparency. Again, you got to you got to let us know everything you're doing. Okay, no problem, we will. From now on, we'll we'll uh, we'll send you a memo anytime we're doing any kind of covert operation or something, we'll we'll let you know. Thank you though. We're sorry. Whatever. Operation Ajax. The 1953 CIA led coup against Iranian Prime Minister Mohammad Mos Mos uh, Mossadegh. Uh, the objective was to prevent nationalization of Iranian oil and curb Soviet influence, which, you know, we, we all know what's going on with BRICS. It's happening now anyway because we effed up. Uh, involved propaganda, bribery, and orchestrating protests, which that's what we do. When we want something uh, in order to propagand propagandize people, we will actually go into countries. If you haven't seen Ukraine on fire and you want to know a little bit of the history of what's going on in Ukraine, watch Ukraine on fire and it shows you how the government sends in agencies that create newspapers, flyers under the under organizations called like, you know, um, something for peace or the mission for peace or something. They call it that, but then they use that to put out propaganda to get people to believe that they're, they're working for peace when they're actually working for the opposition and, and helping them accomplish exactly what they want to do. It's called Ukraine on Fire. It's a, it's a documentary by Oliver Stone, and you can find it for free on Rumble. I don't, know if, I don't think it's on YouTube. If it is, I'll post the link. Um, but if not, you're going to have to find it on Rumble because if I post a link to a Rumble video in my description, they will, um, the, uh, it gets uh, uh, downranked. Um, the outcome toppled Mos Mos uh, Mossadegh, restored Shah's power, but led to long term Iranian hostility and eventually the revolution in 1979. So <clears throat> we basically completely changed Iran. If you look at pictures of Iran and stuff it, before all of this happened, it's like a completely different place, completely different place. We go in and we stick our nose in these places and we meddle in their business and we completely change the whole culture sometimes of a country. It's disgusting what we do. We, we, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually surprised we are still, that we still exist as a country. I, I really am. For what we do overseas, I, th I, am, I am completely shocked that we are still a country, but I don't think that that's gonna be allowed much longer. I think that the, the world is finally waking up. 
Uh, you know, more nations are joining BRICS. The last I heard, somebody said there was like 119 nations joining BRICS um, because they're tired of it. They're tired of us just strong arming everyone around the world. And, and they should be. I mean, we, we shouldn't have been doing it. The Gulf of Tonkin incident, an alleged attack on U.S. naval vessel by North Vietnamese forces in 1964. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen The Fog of War, and it's about Robert McNamara. Before he died, he did a, a, a movie, basically, um, where he told the whole truth about what happened with the Gulf of Tonkin. It was his memoir. It's really good, and it's just him talking and talking about what happened and what he did. Uh, basically, he's like, you know, he's at the end of his life. He knows it, and he wanted to come clean and, and let us know what happened, and, and good on him for doing that. Uh, and I hope that all of these uh, people, that when they're on their deathbed, they confess to this stuff, and we know about it, <clears throat> and understand some of the things that may have happened in our lifetime that we know happened, but they denied that maybe they'll be like, they were right. We did do what they thought we did. Um, reports exaggerated or fabricated attacks on USS Maddox and USS Turner Joy. And the outcome, it led to the Gulf of Tonkin resolution and escalation of Vietnam War. Subsequent revelations diminished public trust. So, you know, it took us into a full-on war with Vietnam with, with, that, with that one lie. You know, like a lot of People are like, oh, they don't know, like, what, what were we even doing in Vietnam? Well, the whole thing was based on a lie. It was based on something that didn't even happen. Number 16, Operation Fast and Furious. An ATF project aimed at tracking illegal gun sales to Mexican drug cartels. Objective, to identify and dismantle smuggling networks. The details allowed known traffickers to purchase firearms, which were later found at crime scenes. The outcome, controversial due to lost control over weapons, leading to investigations and policy changes. <clears throat> more policy changes, more transparency. Operation Cyclone. CIA program to fund and, and arm Afghan uh, Mujahideen uh, during the Soviet-Afghan war. The objective to counter Soviet influence in Afghanistan. Because we can't have the Soviets working with another country uh, or anything, we have to have control. You have to work with us. If you don't work with us, you're out. We provided weapons and financial aid to insurgent groups, and the outcome contributed to Soviet withdrawal but facilitated rise of militant groups like the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. So thank you, United States. Thank you for going in and taking out Russia or the Soviet Union, who would have kept those groups at bay. They probably wouldn't have formed. Creating a vacuum like we always do, pull out, and then it leaves the... the um, the environment perfect for things like this to happen. Tuskegee, Tuskegee syphilis study. U.S. Public Health Service study on untreated syphilis in African-American men. The study and natural progression of disease without treatment. They, they just didn't treat these guys. They just let them have syphilis and just left them to see what happened. The subjects were misled and denied treatment for decades um, the outcome, major ethical scandal, led to reforms in medical research ethics and co compensation for victims. Medical research ethics. But could you imagine that you, you have something that is curable and they just let you have it for decades because they just want to see what happens? Look, let's just, let's just not tell them. Let's not treat it. Let's just see what happens. Like, what the hell? Operation Menu. Secret U.S. bombing campaign in Cambodia during the Vietnam War. The objective, disrupt Viet Cong and North Vietnamese supply lines. The, the de details, conducted bombings without congressional knowledge. The outcome, extensive destruction and displacement contributing to instability and rise of, of Comer Rouge. Watergate scandal. Political scandal following the 1972 break-in at Democratic National Committee headquarters. The objective was to gain intelligence on political opponents. The details involved illegal activities and subsequent cover-up by President Nixon's administration. The outcome led to Nixon's resignation in 1974, highlighted abuses of power, and led to significant political reforms. Hmm. Gain intelligence on political opponents. Who else did that? Oh, yeah, Hillary Clinton in Russia, trying to find information, uh, trying to connect Trump to Russia, which she never found. But she's walking free. She's just out there living her life uh, and uh, still trying to, or still pissed off she didn't get to break that old glass ceiling. The Pike Committee Report. Mid-1970s investigation into CIA intelligence community abuses. Check, check. Okay. 
Uh, the objective was to un un uncover and document errors of illegal activities. The details conducted extensive hearings and compiled reports. The outcome exposed numerous covert operations and informed future oversight measures. The church committee hearings. The overview Senate hearings of the 1970s investigating abuses by intelligence agencies. The objective was to address overreach and illegal activities. Details included testimony and thorough investigations. The outcome led to intelligence reforms and establishment of oversight committees. But where are those oversight committees now? Are they still oversighting? <laughs> Sorry, are they still overseeing things? It doesn't seem like it. With everything that's still going on, it doesn't seem like they're overlooking, every, over, overseeing anything because it all is still going on. Operation Ivy Bells. <clears throat> Cold War operation involving tapping Soviet undersea communication cables. The objective was to gather high-level Soviet military intelligence. The details used submarines to place wiretaps on cables in the Sea of, of Okhotsk. O-K-H-O-T-S-K. If you know how to say that, put it phonetically in the comments. The outcome provided valuable intelligence until exposed by a, de a de defector, highlighted capabilities and risks of underwater espionage. Operation Wrath of God. Israeli covert operation to assassinate individuals involved in the 1972 Munich Olympic massacre. The objective, retaliate for the murder of Israeli athletes. Details, Mossad operatives eliminated targeted individuals across Europe. The outcome demonstrated resolve but sparked international debates on the ethics of state-sponsored assassination. Wow. Uh, Project MK Search. Uh, overview, continuation of MK Ultra focusing on chemical and biological agents. Objective, further study mind control and behavior modification. That's three of them in here that did this. Three mind control studies. You think that's a pretty important one to them? If there's another one in here, and we're not even done, we're only on 26, there could be more mind control. Uh, conducted experiments on volunteers and unwitting subjects. So if you're doing it as a volunteer, hey, knock yourself out. But if you're doing it unwittingly, that's not right. Outcome added to body of knowledge but raised severe ethical issues, contributed to the overhaul of research and ethics. So the second one where they said it overhauled ethics, well, that didn't matter. They did it again and again uh, did an overhaul of research ethics. Now, come on. Uh, how do I I'll put this in do not disturb? I'm getting like pop-ups coming down. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like the, it, the, the, re, the ethics didn't work the second time. So the third time we'll add them again. So we'll see if there's another one in here. But Operation Condor. 1970s campaign of political repression in South America supported by the CIA. The objective, eliminate communist and socialist influence. Details involved intelligence sharing assassinations and suppression of dissidents. The outcome, widespread human rights violations and political instability later condemned internationally. So, I mean, and the thing is like, that's still going on. Look at like what we did. We tried to, we tried to install our own guy, Juan Guaido in Venezuela. We're just like, you know what? We don't like your guy. We're just gonna put our own guy in. We're gonna bring him here. We're not gonna recognize your guy. And you can see that didn't last, fell apart. It completely fell apart because too many people saw through it and saw what BS it was. The business plot. Overview, alleged conspiracy in the 1930s to overthrow President Roosevelt and install a fascist regime. The objective, opposed New Deal policies. Details, recruited Marine Corps Major General Smedley Butler to lead a coup. The outcome, Butler exposed the plot, led to a special congressional investigation and highlighted dangers of corporate influence in politics. Huh, the dangers of corporate influence in politics, but what are they talking about? Corporations are people, right? They can donate money to campaigns uh, secretly and, and all that, right? I mean, isn't that, they're people. They're not, they're not, businesses. They're not corporations. I'm being facetious. I'm being sarcastic because they shouldn't. We should have no company should be able to donate anywhere. We, you shouldn't be able to have super PACs. There should be no lobbyists. Like they should get the money completely out of, out of politics. The Pentagon Papers. Overview. Classified documents leaked in 1971 revealing U.S. political military involvement in Vietnam. The objective exposed government deception regarding the Vietnam War. The details released by Daniel Ellsberg to major newspapers. The outcome, Supreme Court ruled in favor of press freedom, significantly impacted public opinion and trust in government. Project Echelon. 
global surveillance program involving the Five Eyes Alliance, US, UK, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. The Five Eyes Alliance, hmm. So no wonder those, those places are like many United States. We're the, we're the Five Eyes. Like, we're, we're a group. Objective, monitor and in intercept global electronic communications, the details that utilize satellites and data processing centers, and the outcome exposed in the 1990s leading to privacy and civil liberties concerns. Just concerns, though. Privacy and civil, civil liberties concerns. We're, we're concerned about it. We're not going to do anything about it. We're just a little concerned. So move on. The Manhattan Project. Secret project during World War II that developed the atomic bomb. The objective, ensure the U.S. developed nuclear weapons before Nazi Germany. Details, collaboration among top scientists, extensive research and testing. The outcome, successfully produced atomic bombs, dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, ending World War II and starting the nuclear, nuclear era. We are the only country in the world that has ever dropped nuclear bombs. However, um, we, think, we have the audacity to think that we can go tell other countries they can't have them. We should not be able to tell North Korea or Iran or any of those countries that they can't have nuclear, nuclear weapons. It is not our place because we have them, but we've used them. They never have. None of these other countries have ever used them. But we're the ones that are gonna come to you and tell you you can't have them. Like, that's ridiculous. Human radiation experiments. The US government experiments studying radiation effects on humans during the Cold War. The objective was to understand radiation exposure and establish safety protocols. The details, subjects often unaware they were being tested. You're, you're, you're getting nuclear, nuclear, nuclear. I always used to say nuclear. Natalie uh, just kept correcting me on redacted. Nuclear. I, was, I, I sometimes still do it. Um, but could you imagine being unaware that you're, you're getting nuclear like radiation treatment? I mean, to be fair, you're getting it when you go through TSA at the airport. Um, you know, because that's the x-ray machines and stuff. You're, you're, you're getting radiation exposure. Um, d the details, uh, subjects often unaware they were being tested. Okay, that's all, I read that. Um, outcome, ethical scandal upon exposure led to public apologies and changes in research. Public apologies. Um, hey, guys, I know that we, uh, you know, blasted you with radiation, okay, uh, and you didn't know about it. And, you know, Jake, quit looking at me with your third eye, please. It's disgusting. Um, but we're sorry. We're sorry. Okay. Did you guys get that? I told him we're sorry. You got it? Okay, let's move on. Um, Cointel Pro. Wait. I already did that one. Operation Merlin. So we're, it looks like we're only going to have 49. <laughs> CIA operation to sabotage Iran's nuclear program uh, by providing flawed nuclear design. The objective caused technical setbacks in Iran's nuclear efforts. The details involved giving uh, inaccuracies, inaccuracies to Iranian scientists. Outcome and exposed by journalist James Rezin, leading to debates of the effectiveness of ethics of disinformation. Um, Guatemala coup, 1954. CIA led coup to overthrow Guatemalan President Jacob Al um, Arbenz. And the objective was to prevent communism in Latin America and protect U.S. corporate interests. You can't have it. If you don't have a government like ours, we are going to take you out. Um, details involve propaganda, military training, and uh, economic pressure. The outcome successfully overthrown, but led to the decades of instability and human rights abuses. That's the thing. We don't. We go in there. We don't care. We don't care what. Like, look at what we did to Haiti. Look what we've done to all of these places. Look at what we did to Iraq. Look at what we did to Libya. We go in. We do our thing. We leave, and it's completely unstable, leading to. ISIS leading to Taliban, listen, le leading to Al Qaeda, like I don't know, man. It just, it just, like there, there's just sometimes where it's like, what the hell do you say? What can you even say to that? What do you say? Like that's what we do. Rah rah, America! Yay, go America! Here, here we come! It's here we come, walking down the street. We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, we're the army. Jeez. Operation do, and that's no, no dig at the army. I understand soldiers are in a, in a weird predicament, um, and I don't, and I said the other day that I hated the military. I meant to say hated the military industrial com complex. I don't hate our soldiers. I just know that if I were a soldier and I were in Iraq and they had me shooting over walls into villages uh, where kids were, I'd have dropped my weapon and walked away. 
I, I just, there's no way I could have done that. No possible way, because those people never did anything to me. I have nothing against them whatsoever. And there's no amount of, of training or no amount of anything that's gonna convince me otherwise. That, that those people are not my enemy, and I couldn't look down the barrel of a gun and shoot somebody that did nothing to me. Nothing to me. Operation Do. Overview, testing weather modification techniques during the Cold War. The objective was to explore use of weather as a weapon. The details included hurricane manipulation and other meteorological experiments. The outcome, ethical concerns and environmental impacts led to program um, cessation, meaning it must have stopped, but we know they still do that shit, cloud seeding and stuff, like they still do that, right? Project 112 SHAD. Overview, Cold War tests on chemical and biological warfare, often without consent. Uh, the, uh, the objective developed defenses against biological and chemical attacks. The details, secret tests on military personnel and civilians. So they're just like, hey, you know what, you guys? Um, and then when I say this, this is like the military talking. You know what I think we should do? We don't know what's going to happen with the chemical and biological warfare, right? Um, let's just, uh, let's just drop some, you know, like this area where the bunkers are and stuff. Let's just drop some weapons and biological weapons and see what happens. See if they survive, you know. It's only going to be of maybe a thousand lives or so. No big deal. No big loss. It's for the greater good of the world that we, that we understand that. It's sickening, man. Uh, the, the outcome, long-term health effects led to exposure and compensation for victims. Hey, I know you got all this, these problems and stuff, but, you know, here's some money. Shut the hell up. You know, go live your life, go buy a house, go buy a car. Can't breathe while you're driving it, but I don't care. Project Artichoke. The CIA project to develop inter interrogation techniques using drugs and hypnosis. The objective was to find methods to control and elicit information from subjects. So, you know, now this is without the drugs. This is just through hypnosis. Oh, not without drugs, using drugs. Here we are, number four with drugs. And I wonder if it's going to be, um, you know, related to MK Ultra and lead to further um, uh, transparency, uh, changes in policy. Um, they, they, the objective I think I already said was to find methods to control and elicit information from subjects. The details involved experimentation on both willing and unwitting individuals. Outcome raised ethical concerns and was a precursor to MK Ultra. Okay, so this came first. So these aren't listed in order. I wish I would have had them listed in order and by date. I should have done that. I'm sorry, because I wanted to go in, in succession. So I'm not going to start all over. <laughs> Number 38, Operation Chameleon. Overview, effort to capture and kill guerrilla fighters by mimicking their appearance and tactics. The objective was to weaken enemy insurgents by sowing distrust. Details used operatives disguised as enemy fighters. The outcome, limited success, but contributed to complex counterinsurgency tactics. So we will put on your army's colors and go in and infiltrate you that way. Wow. Operation Wandering Soul. Psychological warfare operation during the Vietnam War. The objective was to demoralize Viet Cong troops using supernatural themed propaganda. Details broadcast eerie sounds and ghostly messages claimed to be from dead soldiers. Really? Huh. Wow, that's crazy. Broadcast eerie sounds and ghostly messages claimed to be from dead soldiers. Wow. The outcome created temporary fear and confusion among enemy forces. That's some sick shit, man. Bay of Pigs. Uh, okay, we already covered that one. Uh, Operation Gold. Overview, CIA and MI6 effort to tap into Soviet military communications in East Berlin. The objective was to obtain intelligence on Soviet military activities. The details built a tunnel to access Soviet communication cables. Um, the outcome provided valuable intelligence until discovered by Soviets. Operation Chaos, CIA domestic spying. CIA's domestic espionage target anti-war and civil rights movements identify potential foreign influence. Wait a minute. Didn't we... Didn't we already do chaos? I think I listed a bunch of these twice. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, Operation Wash Tub. 1954 operation to plant fake Soviet arms in Nicaragua to justify U.S. intervention. 
So if, if the if the Soviets aren't anywhere, like, you know, we're, we're saying, oh, the Soviets, once they get done in Ukraine, they're just going to keep going. Well, let's say Russia has no, and we'll call it Russia now. So Russia has no plans or no desire to go beyond the Donbass, where they're there liberating the ethnic Russians that eastern Ukraine has been bombing for about 10 years now. Just bombing civilians, killing them, throwing little butterfly grenades in the streets and stuff, killing kids and stuff like that. That's what Western Ukrainians have been doing to the ethnic Russians that live in eastern Ukraine for about 10 years. So they begged Putin to come over and save them. They're like, please, you know, we're getting massacred over here. And Putin's warning, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in. And nobody listened to him. And finally, he had no choice. He went in to liberate these people. So now that he's done that, all the U.S. has to do is the tactic that they've obviously already done would be to plant weapons in other places and say, oh my gosh, we found Soviet weapons here, they're coming here, or something like that. That's what the United States does. Um, the outcome created political leverage, but later exposed as deceptive. Operation Timber Sycamore. Dang, my nose just, um, a mustache hair just flew up and is tickling my nose. Um, CIA led covert operation to support Syrian opposition during the Civil War. The objective was to overthrow Bashar al-Assad. Ah. The details that pro provided fund and training and arms to rebel groups. The outcome contributed to complex civil war dynamics with mixed effectiveness and ethical concerns. And just so you know, Assad never gassed his people. That never happened. That never, ever happened. That is 110% propaganda that a lot of you were fed, and maybe some of you still believe it. But if that's a rabbit hole you want to go down, I encourage you to go down it. Just only go down a little, come back up, take a break, and then go down a little more, come up, take a break. Take breaks on your rabbit hole adventures, okay? I cannot stress that enough. Every time I tell you go down a rabbit hole, I'm going to tell you, rabbit hole a little bit, a couple hours, take a break. Come out, drink some water, go for a walk, all that stuff. Don't stay down there because you won't come back up for a while. Operation Acoustic Kitty. Okay, this is crazy to me. This one I, blew my mind when I read it. The CIA project aiming to use cats as surveillance devices. Yes, cats. They were going to use cats as surveillance. Now, cats are assholes. I'm sorry if you're a cat person, but you gotta, you got to admit, cats can be assholes, right? Am I right? Now, come on. Um, the objective was to eavesdrop, eavesdrop on foreign embassies. Details, implanted microphone equipment inside of cats. <laughs> they, they planted microphones inside of a cat which I guess ended up being a pet at the embassy. Like, um, special delivery, we have a cat here that we would, you know, we're, the embassy is in our country, so we would really like for this cat to be here. Uh, it's free. Um, we'll provide the food. We'll do everything for you. There you go. Okay, bye, kitty. I love you. <laughs> we're in. Um, the outcome abandoned due to practicality and ethical issues. Ethical issues. Think that's a little unethical? Maybe. Operation Pluto. World War II project to build underwater pipelines to supply fuel from England to France. The objective was to support Allied invasions, especially post-D-Day landings. The details constructed flexible pipelines under the English Channel. Outcome successfully provided fuel, contributing to Allied success in Europe. Project Azorian. A secret mission to recover the, a sunken Soviet submarine in the Pacific Ocean in 1974. The objective was to recover code books and missile technology. The details used a, speci a specially built ship with advanced retrieval system. Outcome, partially successful, raising concerns about deep sea espionage capabilities. Operation Tailwind, covert in, in, uh, incursion into Laos during the Vietnam War by U.S. Special Forces. I had a friend named Kham who was from Laos. K-H-O-M. Get your mind out of the gutter. Um, operation raised controversy over reports of nerve gas usage. Uh, and outcome led to a major investigation by the Pentagon. Ooh, don't want to get the Pentagon in mad. Anybody ever watch uh, uh, Taps with, uh, oh, what was his name? Timothy Hutton, right? Uh, Sean Penn, Tom Cruise. Uh, man, there's like an all-star cast in there, I believe. It was like, don't piss off the major. Don't piss off the major, you'll find yourself escorted out by, between two of Sean's men. Oh, George C. Scott. How could I forget George C. Scott? But yeah, don't piss off the major. Don't piss off the Pentagon, or you'll find yourself escorted out. 
uh, Manhattan Project. We already did that, and we did Project Artichoke. Okay, so there were some that were, um, for some reason, put in here twice. So we only ended up with, what, 47 out of 50? But hey, that's a pretty good list, uh, and my voice is getting ready to go anyway. So, you know, I think it's just crazy to me how much involvement we have around the world and there's really no repercussions for it. I mean, yeah, there's blowback, you know, for every individual or every um, innocent person in another country that we wipe out, 10 more raise up arms against us. If we're, if we're over there and we're killing babies and mothers and daughters and uncles and sisters and brothers and all of that, innocent people, they're going to take up arms against us because what else are they gonna do? They've got nothing, we've taken their family. And what the U.S. was doing over there is disgusting. What we would do is we would drop a bomb, we would kill a bunch of people, and then when the paramedics came in in order to get the bodies, we'd hit them. They were called double taps. We also would then, when they were mourning their dead, we'd hit the funeral home. We'd hit the funerals. That is what the United States does. We are, and, and, and that's not a war crime. That is a war crime, but we just get away with it. We are bullies. We are murderers, and it's disgusting. And, and this is the kind of stuff, like they do these secret co-op co um, um, operations and we try to, like those of us that are in the know and, and trying to fight this stuff, we're like yelling at the top of our lungs, this is happening, the red coats are coming, the red coats are coming. Dude, shut up, they ain't coming, my gosh, I'm going back to bed, right? Because people watching the media, they have no idea but us people living in freaking briar patches and rabbit holes, we're out here screaming at the top of our lungs, cover your heads, it's coming for you, something is coming, you know, they're doing this, here's what they're doing now, here's what they're putting in this bill, you know, no, it's the, it's the uh, CARES Act, it's the, um, the, the Recovery Act, it's the, it's the uh, Obamacare, it's the Patriot Act, if you don't vote for this, you're not a patriot. And it's like, it's, it's just all, it's just unbelievable how much, how much, if you look at like the government over the past like 20, 30 years, just how much more power they just keep devouring. You know, they're just like this gluttonous, fat, just eating everything, eating all the power and all the money and everything that they can get their hands on. Um, there's a Monty Python skit, uh, and I think it's Monty Python, I can't remember what it is, but it's just this big, I'll put, put a, no, I can't put a clip of Mighty Python in here because they, they are very strict. I did that once. I did the wink, wink, nudge, nudge, know what I mean? And they took the monetization off my entire video. I love you, Mighty Python, but what the hell? Why do you got to do that? But it's just this big fat dude ordering food and he's just eating it until he explodes. Um, and that's kind of what it's like. They're just like taking all the money, taking all the power, just more power, more power. And while we sit here and we're fighting to survive, we're fighting to buy houses, we're fighting to, to make money, we're fighting to, to live our lives while we're paying pensions in Ukraine, we're sending Israel money, we're sending money down to this place down here, um, you know, we're paying salaries of all these um, elected officials, we're paying their health care, we're paying, you know, here's $30,000 for your furniture budget, don't worry about it. Now we're, we're paying off people's college um, so that Biden can get reelected, like he's, he's buying their votes with our money, um, you know, we're just spending money a hand over fist. We're giving money to Fauci for gain of function research. We're letting him, um, you know, put uh, bugs on beagles heads and killing them and uh, seeing how, how long they survive with all these bugs on their heads and stuff. Like <clears throat> we're sending all this money to that. But meanwhile, we're out here busting our backs like a bunch of slaves and just being like, here's our money, take our money. Here you go, sorry. That's. Just irritates me. I'm telling you, you guys, I'm telling you, the Purple Revolution is coming. We are after this election, because I understand a lot of you want to vote for Trump. Um, I don't know that any of my view viewers want to vote for Biden. If you do, that's that's on you. But I, I would imagine a lot of you want to vote for Trump uh, or at least vote for somebody in this election. But after this next election, I ran out of uh, I ran out of memory on my camera. I, I used the whole 256 gig card for this video. It must be long. So anyway, I'm just gonna finish what I was saying here. We're gonna finish this election uh, so that those of you that are Republicans can vote for Trump. And then after this election, we are leaving our parties. We're gonna go with the Purple Revolution and we're gonna 
leave the Republican Party. We're going to leave, you know, whatever party exists. There's only two parties, Democrats and Republicans. We're going to leave them and we're going to, we're going to, we're just going to start a revolution. We're not taking it anymore. We're pissed off and we're not going to take it anymore. I'm sorry. I can know you can probably hear the wind, but I'm going to go ahead and end it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys would like to get exclusive content, uh, behind the scenes stuff and your name in the credits and all that, um, click on the uh, join button and there's a video that I made that tells you what you get and the perks for, for being uh, a member. If you're a VIP, you're gonna get your name in the credits. If you're a producer, you get a highlighted above the VIPs and if you're executive producer, you get a gigantic name up in the uh, credits when I start putting those at the end of all the videos. I'm sorry, I bet the wind is bad. Thank you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow.